Hey, what's up there, folks? Today's going to be a continuation of our look at using polylines to define our existing surface. Now, typically with surfaces or with contour lines, they're typically not jagged out in the field. I mean, most of the time you're not seeing grades that are that are that jagged unless there's just extreme circumstances such as who knows maybe there's like a retaining wall or something like that but for the most part these contours aren't jagged like this they're they're a little smoother we'd like to be able to smooth out our contours so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our surface exercise dash two drawing which is located in your tutorials folder and we're going to expand our surfaces we're going to go ahead and expand our EG surface that we made in our last exercise. We're going to select it. We're going to right click, go to surface properties. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my surface style to no display because I want to be able to see my feature lines underneath underneath because right now as it is, these gray contours are based off of the surface style. Okay, so if I click OK, they're going to disappear. But where are my polylines? Well, go into your layer control, type in LA, then go into C Topo Feature, and then thaw that layer, and then we have our contours back. We have our, excuse me, our polylines back. So we still have our elevations. You can see right here 98 has an elevation of 98. But what we, what we want to do is we want to smooth out our polylines. If you don't know how to do that, type in PE for, for poly edit, press enter, and then go to 96, click on 96, and we're going to select spline. Or in my mind, I, I typically think of spline as smooth. Hit spline and then press enter one more time. So it smooths all of this out. And if I select my polyline, you can, you can see all of these little grips that I get, which is kind of, kind of nice to be able to adjust my polyline the way that I would like it situated. And you know, the reason why we went with these jagged lines, these jagged polylines, from the get-go is because we're just looking to rough things in. It's nice being able to kind of finesse our contours, being able to kind of smooth things out. So type in PE for poly edit again. Select our polyline, then type in S for spline or smooth. And there you go. Press enter again to exit the command and we can adjust this as needed. But what if we wanted to smooth out the rest of these contours, the rest of these polylines? Type in PE again. And then we're going to select multiple. Right down here, M for multiple. We'll select that. Then we'll select the remainder of our polylines. OK. Press Enter again. Then we type in S one more time to smooth them out. And it takes care of all of them. Press Enter one more time to exit the command. And it smooths out all of our polylines. So if we want to finesse these a little bit, kind of tighten these up and make these look nice and smooth and, and fit our, our plans properly, you know, maybe these are design contours. Maybe these are proposed contours. Maybe you have a, a plot plan that needs to show proposed contours. And maybe you sketched them in on a piece of paper and maybe scan the piece of paper of your site. And then you just trace those, those red lines if need be. You know, we can kind of finesse this a little bit more, make them nice. Okay, now 
since we've made these changes to our polylines, our surface definition has changed. If you can see right here, we've got our existing grade. See how we have this yellow shield right here? That means that things need to be updated. It says right here, surface is out of date. So we need to rebuild our surface. So what we'll do is before we rebuild the surface, I want to turn on my surface style again. Go into surface properties, go into surface style, and then go back into selecting background contours. Click apply and you can see the difference that we, that we made as opposed to our existing surface object. Okay, so when I rebuild my surface, it's gonna match the adjustments that I made to my uh, polylines. So go ahead and right click on existing grade or EG, and then select rebuild. And there you go. Here's our surface. It's following all of our smoothing techniques to our polylines and there you have it well sometimes if you're in a situation to where you don't want to constantly have to rebuild your surface all the time what you can also do is you can right click and select rebuild automatic so whenever you make a change to your polyline then your surface gets rebuilt automatically so that's how you can go about using the poly edit command to kind of finesse your contours a little bit and smooth them out so they look a little bit better on your plans. So until next time guys, take care.